it's an unbelievably difficult situation that's building here. You really are dealing with a crisis when you consider the state of the southern resident orcas. You can't keep a baby alive. The scientific knowledge that we now have about the impacts of viruses that are being spread by salmon farms on Chinook salmon, I would say that that is a huge argument in favor of getting rid of fish farms as quickly as possible. Chinooks are absolutely essential to orcas, and this is one of the big reasons I think that the orcas, and particularly I think the southern resident orcas are in such trouble at this point, because the, the supply of Chinooks, the abundance of Chinooks has gone down so drastically that they're having a hard time finding the food they need to survive. In Alaska, there was a decision taken not to allow fish farms. Last year, for example, it was the best return of salmon, I think, in 30 years, a generation. And in BC, it was the worst return in a generation. And I think that the explanation very much lies in the way in which governments have treated the environment and protected the habitat. British Columbia doesn't seem to care. Our orcas, our resident fish-eating orcas, are very dependent on just two species of salmon. They have honed this specialization over thousands of years. The Chinook salmon are being directly impacted by the diseases that are occurring in the fish farms. And that's what we're doing to the orcas. We're starving them. If things go on as they are, they'll only get worse for the salmon and worse for the whales. First Nations never approved the location of fish farms in the Broughton Archipelago. Uh, and now they are unanimous in their uh, desire to get the fish farms out. The government has a very easy way of doing this simply by not renewing the licenses, the tenures of, of these fish farms. They have so much evidence before them at this point that say that fish farms are bad, period, for the environment for the fish and for the whales. And why they are taking so much time to look at the situation and come to an obvious conclusion, I fail to understand.